Among cheers and applause, the governor signed into law the anti-discrimination and religious freedom bill. Many, including Reverend Pablo Ramos, says it's a step in giving everyone equality. I think this law is uh, a step uh, on uh, uh, equality and equal rights for every human being. Not everybody agrees. In fact, some say discrimination is still a possibility. If it's a, a business of some kind and they have less than 15 so employees, they still can refuse service to um, gay and lesbians, transgender, bisexual. They can also interracial couples um, and for that matter, women. I mean, women are still discriminated against in today's societies. The LDS Church assisted in having the bill passed through Utah's government, but some believe it's just organized religion controlling how society believes. It was a big step for the LDS Church to allow black men to hold the priesthood. Um, it's going to be even a bigger step for the LDS Church to give equality to women. Um, so they don't realize that people are just people. And it's not just the LDS Church. It's organized religion, period. They feel that they should be able to dictate on their beliefs when state and religion are two different things. Even with these provisions in the bill, many feel it is a step in the right direction. It's a mixed emotions. I'm really excited that the state has moved forward in a little way, but uh, I still don't think we've nearly covered the ground that we need to to protect the rights of LGBT people. It's good that there's the non-discrimination protections for uh, housing and employment. It's unfortunate it doesn't cover public accommodations, but I think that's a method for another year. And this is a good step towards that direction. So in Utah, it seems that things can take a while. So this is, you know, one step towards that. Bill Gappard, GappardDaily.com.